There are probably some things I would not be doing because Michelle would leave me. Yes. She'd be like, what? Former President Barack Obama laid it all out on the table during two wide-ranging interviews over the weekend, getting candid about his wife Michelle and offering advice to outgoing President Donald Trump. A president is a, a public servant. They are temporary occupants of the office by design. When your time is up, it is your job to put the country first and think beyond your own ego and your own interests and your own disappointments. My advice to President Trump uh, is if you want at this late stage in the game to be remembered as somebody who put country first, uh, it's time for you to do the same thing. During the 44th President of the United States tell-all interview with CBS's 60 Minutes, he opened up about Trump's refusal to concede the 2020 election, despite a clear win for Joe Biden and no evidence of voter fraud. Obama was asked what he might tell the sitting president during a time like this, and he came through with a heartfelt response. I think it was time for him to concede probably uh, the day after the election, uh, or at the latest two days after the election. Uh, when you look at the numbers objectively, uh, Joe Biden will have won handily. There is no scenario in which um, any of uh, those states would turn the other way, and certainly not enough to reverse uh, the outcome of the election. Obama adds that the best thing Trump can do now is bow out gracefully and help Biden have a smooth transition into office just like almost all the other administrations before him. There are a set of traditions that we have followed in the peaceful transfer of power. The former POTUS ran down that whole laundry list of traditions that leads up to Inauguration Day and said he has hoped Trump will do the right thing. The outgoing president sits there, is part of the audience, as the new president is sworn in, and at that point, the outgoing president is a citizen like everybody else. and owes the new president the chance to do their best uh, on behalf of the American people. Whether uh, Donald Trump uh, will do the same thing, we'll have to see. So far, that's not been uh, his approach, but uh, hope springs eternal. There's a promised land out there somewhere. So what advice would he give the president-elect Joe Biden? Obama made a separate appearance on CBS Sunday morning and said the former VP is ready for the job. He doesn't need my advice, and I will help him in any ways that I can. Now, I, I'm not planning to uh, suddenly work on the White House staff or something. No I, cabinet I, position for th you, there Mr. President? There are probably president. some things I would not be doing <laughs> because Michelle would leave me. Yeah. She'd be like, what? Yeah, his wife, former First Lady Michelle Obama, he says she wouldn't be down for that. During his sit-down with 60 Minutes, Obama got candid about how his political ambitions affected his family life, especially his relationship with Michelle, who he says initially did not want him to run for president. We've got two young kids. Michelle's still working. And I ask myself in the book, you know, uh, how much of this is just megalomania? How much of this is vanity? How much of this is me trying to um, prove something to myself? And over time, she made a conclusion that I shouldn't stand in the way of this. Um, she did that so. She should not stand in the way of your ambitions to yeah. be president. Yeah, and, and, and she did so grudgingly. Well, we all know how his ambition to be president turned out, with two terms in the White House. The fact that I ended up winning didn't necessarily alleviate her, her frustration because the toll it takes on families is real. The fact that she put up with it and forgave me <laughs> was uh, an, an act of of grace that I uh, am grateful for, uh, and I'm not sure I deserved.